Place de la Bastille on election night, and a jubilant crowd welcomes the victory of François Hollande. The same square a year later. Now the crowd wants to sweep away the president's austerity program. A year after his election, François Hollande is scoring record lows in the popularity stakes. Many voters accuse him of making promises in his manifesto, which he has failed to fulfill. French factories like this Peugeot Citroën plant are struggling to compete in the global market. Hollande promised to reverse this trend, turning French industry into an engine for economic recovery. Instead, the plant is due to close with the loss of thousands of jobs. What's the use of being president and having a majority in both houses of parliament if you're powerless to do anything? He may as well buy a fishing rod and leave us in peace. Hollande also promised to tackle unemployment. He created incentives for companies to take on more workers. But a year later, the number of jobless has hit a record high. It's particularly difficult for young people. One in four are unemployed. Sophie has been looking for a job for more than a year. All she can find is temporary work or internships. The thing that you hear the most is we're looking for someone with one or two years experience. But if no one gives you this experience, well, it's a vicious circle. You're not going anywhere like this. Hollande promised in his election manifesto to bring French troops home from Afghanistan, and he delivered. Earlier this year, he ordered a military intervention in Mali to stop al-Qaeda-linked groups from taking over the country. The operation in Mali has been overwhelmingly approved by, uh, by the French. However, uh, maybe this will not last if there were significant uh, uh, incidents leading to uh, the deaths of a high number of French soldiers or if there ever was a major terrorist attack somewhere in France. François Hollande is losing the support of many people who voted for him. A worrying start to his second year in office. Jackie Rowland, Al Jazeera, Paris.